Good morning, everybody. It is uh, day two of Modern Gun opening weekend here in Kentucky. And unfortunately, no success yesterday. Um, to be honest, we dang near got skunked. I mean, I seen that buck at first light. I mean, I could hardly tell what he was. I couldn't tell what he was at all. I could just tell he was a good sized buck. And then by the time he cleared the field, it was right at legal. So I could have taken the deer, but I just was not gonna pull the trigger on a deer. I couldn't pinpoint. And good thing, so at lunchtime yesterday, I rolled out there and pulled all the camera cards, and sure enough, he was standing right in front of that camera. And it's not a bad deer, just not one of my target deer, and I would have been pretty upset if I pulled the trigger on him. So, always know your target. I guess that's the uh, advice there. So, <clears throat> headed back out. It's 4.30 a.m. That's right, early. I'm already wore out, uh, 33 degrees. Got up this morning, had a little light dust in the snow. Uh, some frost on the ground. I mean, just feels more like November deer hunting snow weather. Yesterday really didn't. Uh, I know there was a lot of great deer that went down yesterday across the state. I've seen them all on social media, but Matt and I just weren't in a position to uh, that be us. So going out here, we're gonna change it up a little bit. I'm gonna put Matt up with me, and hopefully, if that deer walks out of that out again, I would love for Matt to uh, put his tag around it. So we're gonna we're gonna keep after here, guys. We're gonna keep grinding it out what it's all about so stay tuned and we'll join uh, join up with Matt here in just a few minutes So, here's an update. <laughs> so, is that what we'll call it an update? My target buck. So, you saw the big eight point, eight point. High, high side. All right, so at the right side of this field, it, it rolls. And so, I got Matt over here on the opposite side so he can see down this other tree line. And so, I saw a, 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 a buck. I couldn't tell what it was. And then, real quick, and then I just seen his back going back over the hill. You said that was that eight that's got the big yeah. one side. So I said, watching that spike, and I looked up, and boom, he was right there. I'm like, what, really? And so I'm, I'm basically filming for Matt at this point. I'm like, all right, can you see him? Can you see him? And I look up, and there's the little, the little injured spike 
Yeah, the one I said coming from up yesterday. the hill. Yeah, he came up the hill from that little draw. Neither one of us can see inside that draw. But he came up and worked his way out to the middle of the field to the corn pile. And then he kind of got boogered up, went over there, and actually bedded down at the edge of the hill or this field where it drops off and we can't see what's going on on the backside. And I could see deer in and out back there the whole time. Yeah. But he went and he actually bedded down. And he was sitting there like... Like he was just watching stuff going on. And then here comes my 10 point, man. I say my 10 point guys, cause this is the deer that I'm in here to get. And I really want it. So both our target bucks showed right. up here this morning. And oh, man, I took the shot and I have my camera and, and on the tripod to my left. And the little three inch viewfinder was now on the other side of the camera. And so I'm settled in and I'm over there trying to see I, I didn't realize how far he was, but I thought I compensated for it. But then when I, he just, he mule kicked real hard and then kind of trotted off and I could see his antlers sitting there as y'all saw in the video, or you can see in the video here, but he doesn't just fall over, I don't think, but then his antlers just disappear. Well, maybe he's trying to catch his breath and hit him in the lungs. Oh, man, I don't know. It, it, from the, oh, no. I went through, I wasn't there. put it on slow-mo and Everything about the shot felt great until the fact that he walked over there and I couldn't see him no more. That's the, that's the discouraging part when you just when you don't see him fall, right? Because you don't know what the answer is. And so we decided to come out. I downloaded it to my phone so I could slow mo it. And I don't know. I, I think that's a big bullet hole, dead center mass. <laughs> yeah, second picture definitely. First picture I was on the fence of it. Definitely the second one. All right, man, guys. We're gonna go see what's going on. That's gonna be Guys, I'm filming the recovery from my phone. <laughs> I just realized that the uh, hot light is a bunch of blood right here. This is the trailer. I just realized that I've been filming on the So hopefully I can fix that. Chasing the one I, we couldn't find a mine? No, a mine. Oh, yeah. Remember when we yeah, had like yeah. 100 yards? That was during bow season, wasn't it? No. No, no I just had a bow string. I just left my bow string. But the hardest part about it was is getting down in the, in the leaves, and every damn leaf looked like it had blood on it. Oh, yeah. That's Okay, bro, if you jumped off the 100 foot right cliff. Yeah, right here. Right here. It's this way. Right here. Right here. Right here. You get on this trail, I hear a bunch of blood. Yeah, he's going all over the place. Yeah, at least, he, at least he's not going that way. But guys, I don't know if you can tell. But that's a long way down. There's a drop of blood there. A drop of blood there. He's got to be close. Man, he's, he's dangerously close to this cliff. All right, guys, I'll, I'll start it up again here in a minute. All right, so... We're going downhill now, and as you can see, this is the part of that bluff that I was talking about. It gets steeper, but he's basically snaked down. It came here. Matt, watch on the show. Hey, everybody, Matt. Oh, what? Watch out. Right here. You can see.
Big thing is, it's still bleeding going downhill. Oh, <laughs> that's not good. Guys, we uh, we tracked this thing on a blood trail, on a bead line that went straight to it. I don't know, did we make a video when we came out? I don't think we did. I think we were too tired. Yeah. So we stopped about a half mile in, not even, maybe um, a little over a quarter mile in. No problem. And then hiked back out, went to the truck, um, tried, to, tried to do some calling for uh, permission and whatnot. Couldn't get a hold of the person. Matt knows the guy, but either way, we we left our guns and everything, so we don't have any weapons with us, so we're not hunting. And we got back on the blood trail, tracked it right into a thicket, and then we lost blood. And we were wandering around down there for what, 15, 20 minutes. Every bit. Anyway. Of it. Every bit of it. And I'm just cutting trails and walking around trying to get back on another speck of blood, and he jumps up on a little ledge right on top of me and kind of bounds out. So get up on top, kind of grid search that, found his bed, didn't have a ton of blood in it. Matt gets on his trail and finds, almost looked like a chunk of meat. It did, it was pretty big. It's a <laughs> but small, I'm assuming it's just, blood clot. yeah, a big, huge blood clot. And we were like, all right, well, maybe it'll just open up now. And no blood. Not a drop. Not a drop. I mean, we have, I've went down every trail all through those bottoms back, resetting yeah so long story short is you can't track something if there ain't nothing to track <laughs> and then as we start doing it it started raining yeah yeah it's it's also come rain too so as much as it sucks i mean i just i just don't get it i went back and replayed this video a hundred times it feels like and i feel like it was a spot on shot i'll show you some pictures here but Long story short, that deer is not dead. He got up and ran off, and to be honest with you, it didn't even look like he was that hurt. So, hopefully, he lives to fight another day. Yeah, I hate to leave one out there. We're gonna hike out of here, guys. We got a ways to climb again. Oh, well, it's a way. Uh, yeah, you can see. I mean, yeah, it's, it's a way. It, but we got to go all the way around to get to the top. But ugh, we'll change arms. But anyway, I think we're going to pack everything up, clean up here, and leave this place alone for the rest of the week. I mean, I don't know of any other deer, but I'll leave these cameras out. I'll probably come throw a couple more cameras out. Hopefully, who knows? Maybe that deer will come back on camera. Come back. All right, day two of the track job, <laughs> and Jeff we've done already. Uh, oh, buddy Jeff, everybody knows Matt, and uh, what, two and a half miles. Uh, just hit three. Just three miles. I'm probably two, two and a half miles from me and Matt. And we've had no luck, but I think we've figured out where he went. And we crossed this big creek back there about a quarter mile. And uh, got on this other property. So we are going to try to get across this. Matt was nice enough to throw some boulders in there. I don't know how this is going to work. <laughs> but we figured <clears throat> if I fall in that water, I want everybody to see. All right, Matt. <laughs> Watch your fingers, man. Oh, it's your world, man. I'm just living in it. All right. You want to go next? I reckon. <laughs> okay we're back at the trucks as you can see jeff how many miles four miles right at four miles and <clears throat> we jumped them up again <laughs> i'm feeling it so we crossed the creek as y'all saw hiked back there a quarter mile or so and he jumped up directly on the other side the crazy part is is that comes to a little point and it drops down where the creek kind of v's over i walked to that point this morning and stood and looked out there didn't see anything if i would have i didn't take my binoculars but if i would have scanned that i probably would have seen him in his bed and could have maybe gotten another shot but jumped him up and he ran up the hill so that deer is still alive and uh 
Matt, would you? I mean, he didn't really act like he was. He wasn't. He ran plain. Yeah, I mean, I, mean, he, I think he'll live to see another day. Uh, absolutely amazing what these what these deer can do uh, and, and live through. But if you uh, told me that deer wasn't dead just in the wood line yesterday, I would have said you're lying. It yeah. Looked like a great shot. Unfortunately, he got away. So we're backing out, and uh, we're gonna conclude this one. Keep hunting. Try to make a better shot next time. So. But until next time, guys, wake up and hunt. Man, the story continues. My buck is not dead. Mm -hmm.